Good morning. We're out here on BLM land, getting ready to do some ballistic coefficient truing on the 300 wind mag prior to elk season. Got our steel silhouette, Ipsic full size with our water line. Beautiful out here. We got a left to right wind, like three to seven miles per hour. Hopefully I'll get out to at least 600, preferably a thousand. We're back at 600, 600. There's our little target right there. All right, we're at 750 yards. We just shot at about 605. And we're hitting right on the water, uh, water line at 605. So uh, elevation dope is pretty good. So now we're gonna check it at 750. Let me zoom in here. And you can just barely see the target in the middle there. Folks, we're done for the day. We're all trued up at 750. I'm not gonna engage in elk uh, anywhere near that. But we're all good to go with a couple different uh, ammo choices here. So we've got Federal Terminal Ascent, 175, good elk round. And of course the big boy, Terminal Ascent 200 grain, uh, that'll crush bones. And then for mule deer, we've got the fusion tipped uh, 180 grain. Um, everything's truing out ballistically pretty good. Didn't have to make any adjustments to ballistic coefficient. Um, after using the Garmin Chrono, Sig Binos, Laser Range Find, and Angle Finder. And today we got the Sig Cross and 300 Winchester Magnum. The loop hold 5 to 25 by 56 first focal plane and that is a pr2 mill on horn rings and atlas bipod and of course we got our cat suppressor uh, with an armageddon gear uh, cover so uh, we don't get any any heat rising in the optic off of that on a two vets inverted tripod set up and an anvil 30 head here to lock it all in all right we're done on blm land and that's five times zoom right there and that's 15 times zoom and you can barely see the target all right and we're out okay so how do we do well, we did three different rounds, one of which, uh, the Federal Fusion Tip, I didn't have any uh, chronograph data on, and I did not shoot that for zero at all, so I had no experience with that round. Uh, the, the Terminal Ascent 175 and the 200, I had zeroed both of those the other day, so I had some data on those, enough to um, do a little bit of a ballistic uh, solver solution. Um, but here's what you're looking for right here. We're basically not worried about the wind too much. What we're worried about is getting our elevation right on this water line right here. So you put your crosshair, horizontal crosshair on there, and you're trying to true up your data on your scope. Um, and that's what you want. You want like these two rounds right here. Um, so I think this one and this one, I think those are the Federal Fusion um and this one too i believe uh so it's kind of playing around with dope on that one uh and the other ones are pretty good so um i believe these were that was probably uh the 200 that was the 175 once i got it dialed in i just missed the wind call because the wind uh, was kicking up left to right at about nine miles per hour so I was already holding way over here, like a mil and a half. Um, and I just um, just clipped the right edge, so the wind was pretty brutal. 
So that's it. Not bad. Uh, I think I'm all set. And there's the road. Kind of goes back that way. And way back there was where I was shooting from. And then there's the main road right here coming in this way. That's it.